What's up guys, it is Flame Tamer here and welcome back to another video where today it is day three or video two of our southwest vacation trip thingamajigger stuff. But anyway, yeah, today we are actually headed to Carlsbad Caverns. Um, we saw the bat flight last night, but today we're actually going in it. So we're going to first off do the self-guided um, natural entrance tour, then once we get to the bottom, do the ranger guided um, king's palace tour, and then once we're done with that, we're going to do the self-guided big room tour. So yeah, it's gonna be a pretty full day, but it is going to be a lot of fun. So yeah, I will see you guys at the cave. Okay guys, so here we are at the entrance of the cave, and this is the same area where the bat flight was last night, so they were coming and circling around there and flying out that way. So yeah, pretty excited. I'll see you guys when we get in there. Here we go. Okay guys, this is where the bats live, back in that really dark part. Okay guys, that's where we came from, that little bit of light up there. And now we're down in here and headed that way. This is the whale's mouth. We're going all the way down there. It doesn't look that crazy from here, but it's a long way down. Okay guys, this is one massive, massive rock. You can't really make it out, but it's kind of up, around, down there. It's called Iceberg Rock. It's probably 40 or 50 feet high, and there's just a huge, huge room. Ceiling's probably 100 feet high. This is the Green Lake Room, and wow, this is amazing. This is Boneyard. <coughs> really weird looking. And it's just so quiet down here, guys. Okay, guys, this is pretty much the junction of all the different tours and the end of the self guided natural entrance tour. But we are getting ready to do the ranger guided King's Palace tour, so yeah. See you guys there. Okay guys, I know I said I'd see you at the King's Palace tour, but these are the restrooms and it's literally just another tunnel into the cave. It's so weird and cool and awesome and, well, I guess like nothing I've ever experienced before. And see, it's just a bathroom right in the middle of a cave. So yeah, see you at the King's Palace tour. Okay guys, we're starting the King's Palace tour.
Millions of years closer to the present, the limestone is sitting deep in the ground in the water table, where the rock is holding as much water as it can, like a big sponge. And that is where something pretty magical starts to happen. That's where a cave starts to form. This is the Queen's Chamber. Where's the baby? Oh, yeah. It looks like one. So, folks, if the wall is touch. full, we can have a couple people come up and sit up here. This is the bashful elephant. <laughs> That's what it looks like. And there it is. Right there. It's kind of turning around, facing that way. <laughs> okay guys, this is Green Lake. It's about eight feet deep. Really cool. And we are back in the visitor center, guys. The um, King's Palace tour is over, and we are going to go back to the car and get some food real quick, and then we will see you back at the big room tour. So yeah, pretty excited. Okay, guys, we are starting the self-guided big room tour. This is the lion's tail. Really strange looking stalactite. This is fairyland. I can see why it's called that, because there's Got to be thousands of tiny little stalactites hanging down. And in contrast to very small stalactites, here's some absolutely massive ones. One kind of flowing out of a hole. <laughs> Some big stalagmites as well. And once again, some really tiny ones. Jim White was the first explorer of the cave, and they have the ladder that he used on display here. So, yeah. Sure glad I don't have to use that. This is Muir Lake. The sign is actually upside down, but you can read it in the water. This is the bottomless pit. You can't even really see it, but it's there. Probably hundreds of thousands of little stalactites around here. And once again, then some giant ones. <laughs> this is Crystal Spring Dome.
This is very strange. On one of the sides of Crystal Spring Dome, there's a chasm underneath it with a little bit of water down in the bottom. This is the Rock of Ages. an underground stream giant stalactite over there okay guys we finally did all of the tours so yeah that was really fun I will I would definitely recommend coming here I will explain in depth a little bit more about each of the tours when we get back to the hotel room but yeah first we need to take the elevators out of here Okay guys, so we are actually back in the hotel room now, and oh my goodness, that was incredible. I would definitely recommend going there if you are ever in the area. And if I had to choose one tour to go on, I think it would be the big room tour, just because it is the longest one, and it is just absolutely massive. I mean, it's pretty much everything you want. Um, but all the other tours that we did are really cool as well, like the King's Palace has a lot of like crazy formations and stuff coming down, and the natural entrance is really cool because you don't have to go down the elevator and it's just like boom, you're in a cave. You actually can walk down the entrance and it's really cool. But yeah, it is super awesome, definitely go there if you're here, and yeah, we are going to go get some dinner now, so yeah, see you guys there. Okay guys, so we just ate at La Fonda, which is a really good Mexican restaurant. Um, I would definitely recommend going there if you're ever in the area, but yeah, it was really good, um, absolutely delicious, just overall, great place, was nice, decorated really cool, um, and yeah, there's a giant cow statue standing behind me, hello, but yeah, um, I will see you guys at the hotel room. But yeah, that pretty much is the end of today's video, everybody. And I really hope that you guys will come back for the next day. And yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. And don't forget to have a vibe that day. Bye.